The question is, is Ghana really trying to solve its land issues? Let's look at all the measures that Ghana has put into place to kind of tackle this because it is one of the biggest problems in Ghana, land issues. And I think they are trying, but they are not trying hard enough. And I'm going to tell you why. If you're not subscribed to the channel already, kindly do so. It helps a lot. Thank you. So over the years, there has been insane amount of land issues. If you go to the course in Ghana, people in Ghana are very peaceful. So like abroad in the states where, you know, you do whatever, somebody, I'm going to sue you for this, I'm going to sue you for that. It doesn't happen in Ghana. People get sued for sexual harassment, this and that. It doesn't really happen in Ghana. It doesn't happen at all. All the cases in court, right, about 70% of the cases in court is land cases. That's what's messing up the whole court system around. That a small situation, right, that is like black and white might take you a year, two, three. Some people are in court for 10 years, 12 years before the land litigation get finalized. But there's a lot of cases, a lot of land cases in court. And it makes the process really, 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 really slow. Having your that situation ended up in court, you, you got to be ready for two plus years. Personally, I've been in court for over a year now for a very black and white situation. But it's just slow. You go to court today and the next time it's like two months from now. It's very slow and very annoying. So what can we do to avoid going to court to begin with? And I think that's what Ghana is trying now, but not hard enough. And I have my suggestion how this could be solved. And I hope this video goes viral so that somebody important the country can take a look and give it a thought. So Ghana is trying. Before, when you go register your land, you get your site plan, which was not barcoded. It was just a site plan to go to the land commission, get signed and all that. But the document that was really concrete was your title, or you have a judgment in court and then you file entry of judgment and it will show up when you do your due diligence, all this stuff will show up. Land title or having a judgment in court and you know executing the judgment, right? Then you are good to go. But indenture was very weak. Back in the days, the indenture was very weak and that's where all these issues was coming through because the indenture was attached to the site plan. The indenture is just paper that you know states all the names and all that is being stamped by a court or whatever and then you have your site plan and the site plan was not barcoded, which means if I go and get a site plan, to get a site plan is quite easy. I just gotta stand on the line and take my measurement, right? And I could go to the land commission and get my site plan done. And it wasn't barcoded, so you couldn't tell who was the last person to do a site plan for this specific area. Before this goes into the system, it had to go through the title registration process. And that's when this get entered into the system. So most of the issues that came through was people selling land to multiple people and you're not going to find out until you come and try to do something. And now there's a huge problem. And only one person can have the land, it ends up in court and then yada, 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 right? Huge problem. But since 2019, Ghana did something great, which is the barcoded site plan that we now have. So all site plans barcoded, which means if I go and take a measurement of this, right, and I go and get a site plan done, it's going to show who did it previously and that will help you in court if anything happens and i mean that also shows if the person has sold it to somebody already right you can easily check that out right so the system is much better now also recently i remember when i got my permit for my house it just went you know through i didn't have to do any search report on the land or anything like that but now you are required it's mandatory for you to have your search report done on the land and i think that is being done deliberately to solve the land issues in Ghana where people just go and get a permit and they build on somebody's land and then they can show it in court that they got a permit and all that. But now, to get a permit, you must do a search report and it has to make sense that the land actually belongs to you before the, the permit is given to you. I do know that some people don't follow the permit rules, they just go and build in Ghana. It's a whole nother topic. They just build, because when you walk around, you will see stop work, produce permits. You see that all the time which I find very hilarious whenever I see that. But they put it like, stop work. People just do what they want down here. But basically now there is some coherence, right? And some double checking facts here that's going to help you a little bit, but not all the way. Because now the side plan is barcoded, which means you could find out if this person is selling the land, somebody else took it, and you could ask these questions and find out what's going on. Save yourself the headache. That's one. Two, if you have your land sitting there, somebody trying to build on it, they need a permit. Right, and they can't get it because once they do the search report, it's gonna show that they are not the owner. And if they build it without it, like I said, you can take them to court, but before they will have the permit and they have all their documents right, like over this desk, 
But now, it makes it harder if it's not yours and you're trying to build. Without a permit, you're obviously going to lose your house in court. Like a friend of mine, the court system works in Ghana. I made a whole video about this. It works in Ghana. And I think what Ghana is doing now is to try to make your case weak if you are, you know, an encroacher or if the land is not yours and you go and build on it. Like your case is weak and you're going to lose your house. And most people who end up building on people's land, they don't, they're not stupid. You're not going to come in and pour like $100,000, $150,000, $200,000, $80,000 on somebody's land knowing that you can possibly lose your house. It doesn't work that way. These people genuinely don't know much about the land and they bought it from the wrong person. The wrong person sold the land to them and they built on it and then the real owner comes and now they got an issue. Which is why this search report is going to save them because they are innocent souls. They just don't know where to go. So now they know they have to do the search report because most people never ever do the search report when they buy land, trust me. So now you're obligated to do it and you're gonna find out that you bought a land from the wrong person. And you might not even get your permit to begin with. Now, if you decide to go and build on your own, because you were declined, because you bought a land from the wrong person, that's your problem when you lose your house. Like a friend of mine's auntie just won a whole house on land that somebody built a massive house that cost about, I think she put on sale because she's scared. She's scared to live there now because she won that. Right? It was in court for a long time. She won the house. Somebody went and built on her four plus, right? A house that cost about $300,000 is on sale. And it's been an arduous process. It's been very long, tedious. Finally, she won, right? Because the land was not the guy. But he's not stupid. He bought it from the wrong person. So now that could be avoided. Now my suggestion is, this will, this will put an end to everything because people will come and cause issue. Even if their land is not theirs and you build it, you have all the, you have everything. Like my car wash situation. I have a title. It's the highest form of land documentation that you can have, unless somebody has like a superior judgment or something over it. But that's the highest form. It's done, it's done deal. The land commissions work in Ghana is to have, unless there's like two titles, it doesn't happen often. This is like, it doesn't happen. Unless somebody did some shady stuff, but it doesn't happen. There's always one title at a time that's valid. So if somebody's causing issues, knowing that the land is not theirs, there's no way the land could be theirs. And causing issues and waste your time in court. I personally think it should be more than financial damages to that person. That person should still have time to deal. Somebody sells land to more than one person, the same land to more than one person, to multiple people, that person should sell at least two years in jail, two years minimum. And I think if that harsh punishment was in place, the land issues that we face today would decline dramatically. Because it's a huge problem in the country. Once you put that criminal charge on it, let you serve time in Ghana jail. In Ghana jail, it's the worst. It's not fun, my friend. Shitty food, shitty environment, shitty everything. I'm gonna struggle. Nobody wants to go there. Like I said, I hope this video goes viral and some important person hears it. They should make it a crime. She should serve some time in jail causing people headaches. Or selling land to multiple people. One land to multiple people. Obviously, that's malicious. And you should pay for it. It's criminal. Somebody's building on their land that they rightfully own and you come across issues just because you want money and try to delay them, go to court, waste everybody's time, you know, waste my time, waste the lawyer's time, waste, waste the judge's time. You should save some time in jail because this is public funds. The judges are being paid by us, by our taxes and all that stuff wasting our time you should save some time in jail this concludes the video if you're not subscribed to the channel already can't do so like this video as it helps you know comment let me know what you think until next time my friend legendary peace